I sure hope you are being touched and helped by this masterclass. I am Nathan Salter. We are continuing in this masterclass of self-worth, and I am now about to go into the third solution that can really, really help you to overcome this, this self-worth deficit that you are experiencing. And the number three thing, which is one of my favorite, is learn to be your own cheerleader. <laughs> be your own cheerleader. And let me explain this one because this is one that it took me years to learn, but I'm glad I learned it. This is a tool that you need to use. So listen, this is what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about how to be your uh, own cheerleader. And so what do I mean by that? Because in order for you to get your self-worth back, in order for you to understand your value, we talked about those other two solutions. Being your own cheerleader means that, listen, you're going to stop waiting for other people to validate you. You're going to start validating yourself. What does that look like? It means that you're going to actually start to enjoy yourself. Um, I share this when I, when I'm coaching singles and when I'm doing single seminars and relationships things, one of the things in my first book that I wrote, seven things singles should accomplish before marriage. One of the things I talk about in this young people is that you got to learn how to date yourself. You got to know how to like yourself. You got to know how to love yourself and you got to know how to encourage yourself. You got to know how to support yourself. You got to know how to give your own self a pat on the back. And some people don't believe in this, but this really works when you are struggling with self work. One of the things I did personally was I began to find that that sweet balance between um, learning how to um, appreciate what other people may say about me and then learn how to be able to give my own self appreciation. And it was a challenge because I didn't have those tools. So I remember that uh, once I started getting into music. Um, I began to always uh, try to get my validation from, man, did I sound good? And, you know, listen, trying to get my uh, applause and approval from everybody else. And I remember there was one time I was playing, um, you know, you know, and I started really getting really into practicing. So I used to practice drums all day long and just I just wanted to be better for myself. And I remember uh, there was a couple of times that me and the band was going to go play. And when I began to go play, I remember I didn't need no one to tell me that I sounded good. I used to literally say to myself in the middle of a song, man, you is a, you in the pocket, man, you are laying it. You are I remember saying that to myself. Now watch this. When my friends after the song was over would say, man, you, man, you was in the pocket. You was, you were doing your thing. It was an added bonus. What am I saying? I already had the affirmation. I already had the validation from my own self. So when they told me that I sounded good, they just pretty much told me something that I already told myself. So what am I saying is that I begin to apply this when I begin to look in the mirror and I begin to say things like, you are a handsome man. Now watch this. I begin to say that even when I would had the problem with my teeth and that was a challenge. So guess what I did? I started to say things like, you are a handsome man. And because, and when you get your braces and when you get your teeth for, uh, fixed the way you like it, you're going to be even more handsome. You see what I started to do? I started to get self-worth even when things externally wasn't everything that I wanted it to be. But guess what? I began to be my own cheerleader. I began to say things like, you know what? You're going to, your teeth is going to get fixed the way you like it at some point. But guess what? You got beautiful eyes. You know, you got beautiful lips. You know what? You hey, you you're a nice height. You could be shorter. You're a nice complexion. You know, hey, you know, I begin to start seeing the areas that I did like and I begin to be my own cheerleader. I begin to say things like, you know what? You are going to have a good day. You are a great artist. You are a great musician. You are a great speaker. You I begin to start to begin to speak life to myself and young people, you're going to have to do this. Stop waiting for your friends to tell you that you look nice. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. There's good. You need friends in your life to tell you the truth. Now, I mean, you can't be, you know, you can't go outside with orange pants and uh, purple socks, you know, pink shoes and, uh, you know, and then a, 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 a big uh, red elephant on your shirt. And then you got a, a black hat and then you got, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> blue glasses. And you say, hey, this is, you know, I'm different. And I, I validated myself. Now, that may work for you. I go wear that. <laughs> I'm not aware of that. However, a real friend, like we talked about getting rid of toxic friends, a real friend will be like, okay, you, you taking this individuality thing a little bit too much over here. All right. So pull it back in. <laughs> you know, that's what a good friend would do. However, what I'm saying is that 
You want to get to the place that you, you look yourself in the mirror. Stop waiting for other people to tell you that your dress looks nice on you. If you like the way it look, wear it. Now, I know I may, I, a lot of people may not agree with what I'm saying, but listen, you want to know why I am doing this video with what I'm wearing right now? It's because I like it. I don't need you to tell me if you like this or not. I like it, so I'm wearing it. Now, again, you can have your opinion. I can have mine. What I'm trying to demonstrate to you is what self-worth look like. Is that you begin to do things. You look in the mirror and say, oh, that looks that's cool. I'm aware of that and be OK with it. And if somebody do post up, man, that's a that's an ugly looking hat. Oh, that's an ugly looking jacket. Guess what? That is an opinion. It's not truth. It's an opinion. And you got to understand the difference between opinion and truth. It's an opinion what you think about me and what I'm wearing. And what I'm saying is that you got to get to the place where you be your own cheerleader. So I like the way this look. And that's why I said, I'm going to wear this for this masterclass. That's the freedom of self-worth. You get to find who you are and be yourself and don't need nobody else to tell you. And guess what, young people? I'm not telling you to go out there and be rebellious and, and if, if the, you know, and, and to be rebellious over, uh, those who have rule over you, your parents. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that you are here for a reason. You're unique for a reason. And so you don't want to get to the place where you start to, uh, you know, be so overly cautious of, of how you look and think, you know, listen, you know, be modest enough. Don't, don't show everything, you know, um, you know, you, there's some parameters there, but what I'm trying to say is that you get to the place where you start to look yourself in the mirror and say, you know what? I look good. I don't need to look like these, these, these women on social media who is showing all of their body for the men. I don't need to, um, have my pants sagging all the way, all the way down to my knees just to feel like I fit in. Put what you got on, make it look good for you and say, you know, I like this and get the step in and do you. And I'm telling you, this is going to help you in the area of self-worth. When I begin to be my greatest cheerleader, I begin to say to myself, wow, I like what I bring. I like the significance I have now. I like my identity. And this is what has healed me in this area of self-worth as I got to the place where when like right now, I be, I, I'll tell you the God is true. If I had to step out of my mind and try to get so nitpicky with things, I, I can find something wrong with anything. I can find something wrong with this video. I can find something wrong with um, some of the things that I'm I, I'm not good at yet. But guess what? I like what I'm talking about. I like helping people. And I've learned a lot of the opportunities I've had to help people, the clients that, that come to my coaching program, they... I mean, some of them may be caught up with, uh, with how I speak even. And for those of you who know, I'm, I'm actually a, a, a ordained minister. And guess what? When I'm, when I preach, when I minister, I'm me. I'm not trying to fit in a mold where it gotta be. No, I'm me. If my job is to make you understand. And if I can get you to understand, I've accomplished my assignment. So in this particular solution, I just want to get you to understand. I don't care if I have to use words uh, that ain't perfect, but as long as you can understand what I'm saying, I've accomplished my task. And in this particular chapter, my task is to make you understand that you got to be your biggest cheerleader. You got to look yourself in the mirror and say, you are handsome, even though nobody else, even though other girl in the school is telling you you're handsome. You are an attractive young lady, even though no boys is looking your way. Now, I know that feels difficult, but you got to carry that. You got to bring your own value to the table. I'm going to leave you with this in this chapter. And I want you to think about this. One time um, I went out to, to lunch, um, not to lunch, but to dinner with some friends. And I remember I did not have no money. And when I went to dinner and I remember I was sitting at the dinner table, uh, I went because they said, hey, let's go. And I wanted to go, but I was like, oh my Lord, I don't have money. <laughs> and so I remember in my mind saying, how I'm going to pay for this. So all the time I was at the dinner table, I couldn't really enjoy myself because I needed, I was hoping somebody else would pay for it. I was waiting for somebody else's validation to say, hey, I got you, man. And thank God it happened. Somebody did say, hey, man, I'll pay for it. So I was so so, so happy. And I was like, okay, awesome. So then I, th later on, I went to out to dinner with somebody, some friends and watch this. I brought my own money and I had enough to help somebody else. Now watch the difference. When I went to that one, I went in feeling so much confident. I felt so good, so significant because watch this at the end 
of the dinner, I wasn't waiting for other people to validate my bill. I had everything within me to pay for my own food. So I went with a level of confidence and watch this. In that day, what was funny was my friend said, man, let me pay, take care of you. So watch what happened. He gave me, he, he paid for my meal, but I still brought my own just in case if he didn't pay. This is how you got to see um, the, the cheerleader concept. Bring your own compliments just in case your friends don't bring it. Bring your own value to the table just in case your friends at school don't see it. You got to bring your own, your own, you got to bring your own compliments to your football game just in case the coach don't see it. You got to bring your own compliment to your beauty just in case somebody else don't see it. Stop waiting for other people to validate you. And this is what I'm trying to share with you in this one. Be your own cheerleader. Say to yourself, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to be successful. I will be awesome. If no guy want me right now, fine. I am not going to be like these other girls posting up um, um, new pictures on um, social media. For the guys, you know, all the if, if no if no girl think I'm valuable right now or I'm going to be nothing, that's fine. I'm just going to keep working my little business on the side. Why I'm studying? Why I'm doing after school programs? And then one day I'm going to meet the right young lady. But I'm not going to settle and degrade myself. For somebody else's value. And this is what I mean by bring your own, be your own cheerleader because you're going to have to support yourself. You're going to have to encourage yourself because you're going to feel lonely sometimes. You're going to feel like nobody see it. But guess what? As long as you see it, you're good to go. So this is definitely a solution that has definitely helped me and it is going to definitely help you in the area of self-worth. All right. So get ready for the next chapter.